Hello and welcome to Terraria. My name is Todd, also known as Major Mech, and this is of course Terraria. Last time we left off, we uh, died horribly. A bunch of times. Sorry. Sorry about that, I was just second through my map there. Um, what I actually wanted to look at was... What is the button for that? There it is. M. Okay. Um, is how far we've gotten in the world map to see where we can go. So I think we managed to get like the jungle over there. Um, our big things are... Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oops. What did I use? Uh, mining potion. Our big thing is that we need to actually do some mining conveniently um, and get some better armor. I'm thinking like something of iron level or maybe even better. Um, I'm going to focus on iron. If we're able to get like gold or platinum, that'll be great. I'm not going to really explore the world this episode. I'm mostly just going to be mining. So I'm going to go down into our uh, pre created mine here and uh, try and gather some materials. My big thing to gather is, of course, life crystals, because that'll be the biggest thing to help us survive, funnily enough. So, let's try and make that happen, huh? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let us go. Let's see. So we had some copper over here, which we don't definitely don't need copper, as copper is mostly useless to us. We don't want to get murdered by a single jellyfish if we're able to avoid it, as that would be quite poor form. Um, so let's see. My main goal is most certainly getting materials, and it's probably best if we go kind of down the path we went before, because the deeper you are, of course, the higher chance you have of getting good or uh, not good, but better materials. Um, so let's drop down here. Ooh, that's a big drop. Uh, I probably should have used some rope so we could have gotten down these without killing ourselves. Uh, let's heal up. I think it's C. Okay. And I'm just going to keep going. Gonna see if we can't find something and hopefully not die to whatever we might run across. But it's a possibility. Oh, that's right, we died to the fucking boulder, didn't we? Because we were trying to kill a zombie, and the zombie just came over, or a slime. Was it a zombie or just a slime? Oh, heavens, I don't remember anymore. But we do need this iron, so... Actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make some platforms and get us a bunch of those, because we'll be needing lots of those to make our way around. We don't really need our tools on our hotbar anymore. We're not playing with controller anymore, obviously, so thankfully we don't need to worry about that. Oh, when did we get a flipper? I don't remember when we got a flipper, but we'll equip it regardless. Um, did we get anything else? I don't think so. Uh, so yeah, let's just put that there so we can easily reach this iron, because we're going to need all of it and then some. Because we don't have reduced grinding on anymore, I think we have a lower chance of having the good stuff. Oh, here. Worms are actually quite spooky. Uh, an expert, of course. So I want to try and not let him kill us. Because we are kind of far down at this point. Um, let's set him on fire if we're able to. We didn't set him on fire. But we did do some pretty good damage to him. There we go. We got him. We're good. Now well, let me go back to mining my iron. Bloody game, anyhow. Um, ooh. Oh dear. That's a lot of damage. I do forget that, uh, what is it? Iron, or uh, I forget, not iron, but sand does a lot more damage than expert. Um, I'm hoping I don't get drowned here. Oh, uh, my torches. Um, oh, I can swim, that's right. Uh, let's swim over here before we die or drown. Thanks to my stuff, I can uh, swim and prevent drowning much easier. Let's actually dig around to that iron rather than digging straight to it. Um, oh, we found more iron, which is perfect. As I stated, we are going to need lots of it. Let's heal up as well, because if another worm comes out of nowhere, we're going to be dead in the water. Hopefully not literally, but it's entirely possible. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's good. I don't 
think I want to open that up because I'm gonna just get a bunch of water in here. And I don't want to deal with that right now. There's a slime above me, and I want to hopefully not deal with him either. Uh, okay, I need to put down that there. I can see something to the side of us on both sides. Um, I don't think I see anything of worth over there. But there might be something of worth over here, and we're not gonna deal with water, which is my major thing. The less water we have to deal with, the better. Uh, what do we have? Got a big old cavern. I don't know how far it goes, though. That didn't go ex where I wanted it to at all. Um, let's see. Oh, that's what I should put on here. I should put rope. I'm just going to put a rope down. Now we're going to call it good. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need to dig out a little bit more here. There we go. Uh, what can we see down there? I did throw a glow stick down there, didn't I? I thought I did. Um, there's a slime in the water. We can hit it from here, but we can't really set it on fire because it's already in the water. That's unfortunate. I can still murder it, though. Eventually. That's when Mana comes back. How quickly does that regenerate? Not very quickly at all. Man, I gotta be really careful with my shots. I say as I miss multiple shots in a row. There we go. We got him. We got him, boys. Target down! Let's break that pot. We'll swim back up because we can now swim. Um, let's see. Oh, for some reason my pause... auto pause is on. I don't want that on. Let's see, let's turn that off. I could fight the things that are over here, but that seems like death. Let's go over here instead and see what we can see. What can we see over here? Is that tungsten? Yep, that's tungsten. And that's our, I think, our gold equivalent. Or maybe it's platinum equivalent. But uh, it's one of those, if I'm not mistaken. No iron, no. Um, gosh, there's lots of enemies, and I don't want to do any of them, honestly. I think I'm just gonna cut through here. Hopefully, not have to deal with either of them. Um, any enemies, honestly, at this point, will just straight up destroy us if we're not careful. So we need to be on top of that to the best of our ability. Thankfully, we're not playing with controller anymore. Because man, controller controls for this game are not great, not great at all. Um, I would definitely, definitely prefer. Uh, Standard keyboard controls for Terraria here. They are far, far better. Holy cow. Uh, what do we have over here? Nothing of use still. Um, I guess we'll just keep going. Keep digging our way across. Let's see if we find something. I think that's. Yeah, that's some iron. Perfect. Get a hold of that. There is a slime coming for us, I do see. But we can. I think we can deal with him fairly easily. We do have lots of arrows now, so that's kind of good. Um, set him on fire. Uh, oh boy. Let's just use our boomerang to get them out of here. I don't want to deal with any of these slimes. And man, that boomerang is a lot better than I remember it. Oh. Killed. Good to go. I should have been using the boomerang more often. Let's, uh, let's do this. I think that works a little better because our uh, resources are a little bit farther away from what I can press. Because I don't want to waste there any resources as possible. I'm not specifically doing this copper ore, by the way. I'm doing for this pot. Yeah, I got it. Got some rope. I need lots of rope, I can feel like. Because we will have to make our own elevator at some point. But I'm not looking forward to it, honestly. Uh, what's down here? No enemies from the looks of it. But nothing valuable either. I guess we'll just keep going down. I don't see any reason to go to the side at all, because I don't see anything on the sides. Um, there is a slime coming up behind us, though, from what I saw, so I'm going to dig over to the side here just a little bit. Uh, let's put this down here. We'll dig over here. Because if that slime manages to get to us, we want to have some room to fight it. Oh, it's a tungsten. Useful. There's also a cavern down there. I don't know if you can see where my mouse is, but it's right there. 
and uh, we'll try and get to that as well. Ooh, lots of things. If those slimes can manage to navigate my tunnel, then I've got some problems. I don't think they are smart enough, though. Which is good. Sometimes making a ride of tunnels is good for just that sheer fact alone. Not having enemies be able to follow you. Uh, what is this? This is like a tungsten biome. Weird. I didn't know these were like a normal biome you could see. I don't really... Oh, I do need to go in there because there's some tungsten up top. How much tungsten do I have, anyway? Uh, I got some bars already, that's nice. 19 tungsten ore. I guess it's something. It's definitely not a lot, but it is something. Uh, let's see. I would make some wood platforms here, but there's no background for me to put them on easily accessible. So honestly, just me jumping is just as good as anything. That's in my eyes. Last piece. We're gonna break through here. We are gonna fight this slime that's in this tungsten room. Um, try and deal with him. Oh, we knocked him into the hole. That was perfect, actually. Uh, can we? Yes, we can place stuff on here. That's good. So we'll be able to dig our way up here. And then kind of cruise around up here. So there's some tungsten up there. Lots of tungsten around. I don't know if tungsten is actually better than iron, but I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to try our best to get to that. Ooh, don't jump too far. There we go. Cut my way in here. And I think I'm safe from the slimes for the time being. At least that's my hope, anyway. Uh, okay, I think I can come up to this room up here. Get into that tungsten on the left by just cutting into the room and digging it across. Let's dig up onto this pot. Let's break it. Get more rope. Good. Perfect. Broken that. I don't see any iron or anything. Um, yeah, let's just break across. We'll probably be heading back in a good old fashioned way of dying to something or other. because of the fact that we uh, don't have a mirror yet, unless we've managed to find one, but I somehow don't think that's going to happen. Thankfully we don't really have a lot of materials on our person, so not a massive loss. Not yet, anyway. Uh, so yeah, I, I wish I could talk about more. Um, oh, I know what I can talk about. Um, so I just finished my Warframe series. This this episode will come out after the last episode of Warframe. And uh, I did want to talk a little bit about the fact that I'm not going to be continuing that while I'm continuing this. So I'm going to finish this series, this Terraria series, before I start up another series. Um, and the reason for that being is just the amount of time I have on my hands and trying to go back and forth between games really kind of made it so I didn't have a good focus on one game or the other. Um, it wasn't, like, a problem, necessarily, that I couldn't overcome. I just feel like, at the current time and place, because I'm dealing with life the way I'm dealing with it, having a focus on just, like, a single game is kind of better. It makes this also a little bit more like a let's play, I suppose you could say. Um, just kind of like a concurrent thing I will be doing. I'll be more focused on just one thing at a time. And that's just kind of the way I like it, at least personally. Now... Uh, if there's any other opinions about that, I guess like, you guys could leave them as a comment if you so choose, but honestly, I don't think anybody will be too bothered by it, considering how few uh, fans I actually have in that regard. So, no problems overall. That's, there we go, I finally set that bloody slime on fire. Man, slimes do not stay on fire for very long, do they? It's real annoying. Bloody worms, anyhow. He's gonna turn right around and come back at me, isn't he? I can get him with my boomerang, though. There we go. Wow, he didn't do a lot of damage to me. I was expecting some more damage. Um, let's see. Oh, lots of iron over here, I didn't realize. It's a good thing I turned around. Uh, we will need iron, of course, later on for crafting other things, like an anvil and some good stuff that we need later on, but 
truthfully, out of all the materials, I think of iron early on is the most useful. The most likely to get users in combat is probably iron for me. But, uh, we'll definitely need some, like, tungsten or whatnot later on. And if we're lucky, we might even be able to get some of the jungle stuff early on, but that's only if we're lucky. Which, in this run, I don't seem to be uh, exceptionally lucky. Not exceptionally unlucky, just not exceptionally lucky either. I could really use some uh, heart crystals, and we're just not finding any. Though, I know the jungle has a lot of them. What type of crystal, uh, gems are these? These are diamonds, so we need to pick those up. Oh, let's throw away these. Actually, no, let's throw away uh, clay. I don't need clay. Diamonds. Super useful. We'll try and make a diamond hook if we're able to, but I don't know if we'll be able to. As this doesn't seem like enough. We can also make some diamond spell stuff. I think we can make a diamond staff with tungsten and diamond. If I'm not mistaken. We'll have to double check. I don't have any of the mods that I used to that allow me to determine what recipes do what, so I'm gonna have to check with the uh our good old buddy the guide a lot more than I did before. As to what does what. I don't know what that noise is. I don't think I've ever heard that normally. It's a really weird one. Oh, there's a mushroom biome down there. Let's go make our way over to that, because knowing where one of those is later on is really useful as well. But first, let me get this iron. Um, let's turn that off. I'll focus on getting one of these. There we go. Cut our way in here. Easy done. Uh, now we can kind of just free mine our way up. Uh, let's put down a torch, actually. Ooh, there's some more iron underneath us, too. Man, finding all the iron this time around, aren't we? Thankfully, this will be the slowest our mining ever really is, because as soon as we get an iron pick, we'll upgrade that. Eventually we'll be able to just like skip entire tiers thanks to being able to beat bosses. As we kinda did uh, later on in our playthrough of the previous uh, campaign with the mods and whatnot. Though without the help of the mods it might still be slow going in certain parts. Though at the same time I will also state that without the mods we won't have as many choices on weaponry. So we won't have to be so confused on things. We'll know kind of what's the best at all times. Normal base Terraria makes it fairly easily. Uh, fairly easy, that is, to determine what's the best. Um, let me try to this blink root. Because I don't think I'll need that right now. And I think I can make some torches, right? No, I don't have any... Is it because I don't have any wood? Try some of our platforms to make some wood, so we can have yeah some torches, because those are going to be more important right now than anything else. We need lots of them. We'll try and get, make our way over towards that skeleton and that biome, specifically the uh, mushroom biome. I don't really. I think there's like a crystal biome right here, but I can't really see it. to deal with that skeleton, but I think the skeleton ought to be fairly easy for us. We'll have to see, though. Let's put down another torch so we can see where we're going. Um, yeah. So once we've completed this, we've gotten our iron, I think we'll try and explore the world a little bit more. Um, we should... Iron or tungsten, that is. Uh, we should be able to hopefully fight our way to one end of the earth. Um, I'm really hoping we can do that, because then we might have a pretty good chance of spawning a boss that might... Oh, I see some gems above me. Get those. Because I am going to focus on magic again, uh, gems are still really important. Unsurprisingly. Gems are these 
Thanks. Those are topaz, of course, and we got how many of them? Uh, Eleven. It's not too bad. Um, let's see. Last things that we need to do. I guess we'll gather up some mushrooms. And we might have enough tungsten and iron to really do some cool stuff, so. I don't know, maybe we'll try and find a way to take the easy way back up. Or we might just take it regardless of whether or not we want to or not right now. Because look at how many things there are here. Holy cow. Um, let me throw a grenade down there. That. That should hopefully kill the slimes. No, it didn't kill them, but it did some pretty good damage. Wow. I fucking trickshotted that goddamn bat. That was pretty impressive. Boom. That one's just gonna go off into eternity. Uh, this cave bat that is like right underneath me right now is the biggest problem I have. Oh, but I can set him on fire without even worrying about it. Nice. Done did it. Okay, so I need to figure out where the pressure plate for that is. I don't see it anywhere. Um, if I actually just go like that. I think I might negate the pressure of the boulder, which is exactly what I want to do. Um, okay, so he's gonna see me and then focus on me. Maybe we can cut this down a little bit and also go over a platform. I should have been doing this from the beginning, just building a platform, allowing that to give me the advantage. I want to get that money before it disappears. But I guess it really doesn't matter because I'm mostly going to drop it as soon as I die anyway. Let's just pelt them with arrows. I think arrows are the most damaging thing we do right now. Oh, oh, yep, it did work. Cool. Um, oh, that's a mother slime. I don't want to deal with any of that, honestly. Uh, I do want to pick up these mushrooms, though. And these mushroom seeds. I don't need this hardened sand. No, oh, and this, uh, whatever this is, emeralds. Um, I guess I don't really need the pressure plate right now. Hmm. I'd love to go more into this biome, but having these two right here kind of a pain to deal with. I could try and bomb them. Let's make them sticky bombs, though. Able to. So hopefully, well, if I bomb them though, I'm going to get rid of a lot of the mushroom biome, and I don't want to do that. Oh, he's get out of your bat. Oh no. Come on. There we go. Got him. Uh, alright. If I put this platform here, is that going to be a problem for me? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I can set one fire from here. I think if they had the ability to jump well, I'd probably be done for here, but because it's water, they can't really jump very high. I mean, I can just do this all day. I got all day! What do you got? The mother slime is down. The tiny slimes have spawned. Deal with them just as effectively as we can anything else, I guess. Still can't reach me, we're good. Crimey, this thing is just a slime factory, isn't it? Uh, let's deal with them at our pace. Oh, crimey, so let's just use our shrinkins. Lots of bats down there, which I'm hoping to avoid as well. Let's jump up here. Some pinpoint ore up there. Oh, there's a bat. Get out of here. Get out of my face. Bloody bat. Got him. Getting better at. Oh, oh dang it. <laughs> I was about to say getting better at fighting, but. 
That kind of cut me short, didn't it? I wasn't really going to bother healing because, like I said, we needed to take the quick way up anyway. So, I guess that just made the decision for us. Um, let's see, let's create a little platform here. Uh, no, let's make it one. No, I guess we can't really. Hmm. I guess we'll just put the chests on the floor. Go like that, and then we'll make a shelf above the chest. And then we'll put a sh chest on top of that. There we go. So we've got some space to store some stuff. So we can not have our inventory full of junk. So yeah, now that we've got a good set of armor, though, we should be able to uh, kind of deal with things more effectively. Oh, I do want to make a mana crystal. I'm use that. Man, that's, that sound effect is way louder than I remember it being. Um, I don't need copper, really. Let's so sort that out. Let's see. What can I make, though? I should be able to... Oh, I have put all my stone away. Dang it. Where is my stone? There it is. So I sh should be able to make a furnace. Is it because I'm, like, out of wood or something? Tell me, guide, why can I not make a furnace? God, I feel like such a, a fool. A furnace. Oh, it's gonna take me forever to do that. Oh, here's a furnace. There it is. Yeah, it's because I don't have any wood. All right, let's cut down a tree real quick, and then I should be able to make a furnace. And once I have a furnace, then I can make an anvil, and that will kind of get me what I need most of all: armor. Okay, furnace got. Um, we'll put it, yeah, we'll put it right there. And then iron bars. 48 of those bad boys. 22 of these bad boys. That's, now I should be able to make an anvil. There we go, iron anvil. Good to go. Put that next to our, if the bloody guide would move his fat butt. Um, I could put my stuff down. Alright, well, we're just going to have to work around them. Of course, then he moves. Of course he does. There we go. And there we go. Now we're actually got a nice little setup here. Um, let's see. So, what can we make? So iron is two defense, tungsten is four. So tungsten is better overall, so that means the first thing we need to make is a tungsten pickaxe. So we made a tungsten pickaxe. Demonic tungsten pickaxe. I don't really need it to be demonic, but sure. The next thing we could make is a bow or a sword. I think we're going to go with a bow. Um, that'll get us the most damage overall. Sighted. Nice. 10% damage. Nice. Um, well, we do have still have enough for something else. Do we want to make an axe? Yeah. Let's make... We can either make a hammer or an axe. Let's go with an axe. An axe will be slightly more useful, I think. That'll give us all the tungsten we've got. Is there any other crafting things I need to make before I make some iron armor? I don't think so. Alright, so 20, 30, 25. Holy cow, that's a lot. Um, let's go with the chest piece first, I guess. From here we can make a hammer. And that's all of our iron. Man, you go through materials super quick. We got an iron chest piece at least, which isn't too bad. Um, we'll put our old tools in here and we'll sell this stuff later on because heavens knows we don't actually need it that much. Oh, I want to keep that though. Let's get rid of this and that. Sort that out. Oh, and we can also make stuff with our diamond and whatnot, but I don't know why that's not showing up. What do we need to make stuff with that for guide? Tell me. Tell me, guide, what do I need to make stuff with this? So, I need 15 to make a hook fudge. 
Uh, to make the staff, I need 10 platinum bars. Uh, to make the robe, I need a bunch of stuff. The hook is probably the most useful thing I could have early on, so I'm probably just going to save up for that. Uh, Alright, we're not going to worry about any of that. So whatever material I get most of right away, then I will use that. Dump all this. I'm going to keep my bombs on me because they're actually useful while mining. I guess go a little bit quicker. Um, heavens, I was hoping to get more armor so we could actually uh, explore more of the world. And I think we will try tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but uh, next time. Uh, but I think for now this is a good stopping point. Uh, next time we'll try and explore more of the world. Failing that, we'll probably just uh, do more mining and try and get more armor, because having a full set of iron armor will give us a good amount more defense than we currently have. Our pants don't even give us armor. That's, that's weird. Anyway, until next time, goodbye.